This tunnel in Europe is the longest in the world. This project, known as the Femerni Belt Tunnel, stands as one of Europe's most extensive construction endeavors. The objective is to establish a permanent connection between the Danish island of Lowland and Germany's Femern Island, creating a vital shortcut between Scandinavia and Central Europe. This ambitious goal will be accomplished through the construction of the world's longest submerged tunnel, an 18-kilometer prefabricated passageway designed to accommodate both cars and rail traffic. The tunnel's structure will comprise 89 colossal concrete segments, measuring 217 meters in length and 42 meters in width, with each segment weighing approximately 73,000 tons. These segments will be configured to include two tubes for motorway traffic, two for railway transportation, and one designated for a service passage. To create the tunnel, a 12-meter deep trench is being excavated on the seafloor, where each segment will be carefully lowered into position and securely connected using a combination of Gina gaskets and Omega seals. To provide a sense of scale, each of these segments measures the same length, or even exceeds that of the Turning Torso Tower in Sweden. It's equivalent to two football pitches, four Olympic swimming pools, two Big Bens, or four Leaning Towers of Pisa. The primary construction site, which happens to be one of Europe's largest, is situated in Ruby Hallen on the Danish side of the Femern Belt. The magnitude of the concrete factory and its encompassing work area is truly awe-inspiring, as it extends over an immense expanse of approximately 1.5 million square meters, akin to the vastness of around 310 football pitches. In meticulous preparation, a man-made work harbor was painstakingly constructed, serving as a pivotal facilitator for the seamless delivery of essential materials to the construction site. Each week, a remarkable and astonishing feat is achieved with an impressive 65,000 tons of indispensable resources, including sand, cement, steel, and gravel, meticulously transported to provide unwavering support to the ongoing construction efforts. This colossal endeavor stands as a testament to human ingenuity and dedication, ensuring the ambitious project's steady progress and successful realization. You could build 50 Eiffel Towers with the amount of steel going into this tunnel. It took two years just to construct the work area around the main tunnel factory. The site also comprises the main tunnel entrance or portal and a village for 1,300 workers, which locals have called the Tunnel Town. Behind the harbor is where the tunnel factory is being built. Six giant production halls will cast the 89 concrete segments on a 24-7 basis. Five halls will make 79 standard segments, and one hall will make 10 special size segments. These special segments are slightly wider and deeper. They will house electromechanical equipment and a sump pump for drainage. The tunnel factory will be the world's largest for concrete production. It has created jobs for several thousand people and even more jobs for local companies supplying the site with raw materials, goods, and services. Each concrete segment will be cast incrementally over a skeleton of steel in huge casting molds. After the curing process is completed, the molds that encase the segment will be carefully removed and then, with utmost precision, the segment will be gently propelled forward toward a well-equipped dry dock, a relentless operation that continues seamlessly around the clock. It is noteworthy that the intricate construction of each segment demands an extensive period of nine weeks to meticulously complete the rebar cage for the initial element, which, interestingly, has only been finalized this spring, marking a significant milestone in the overall project. Upon reaching its final form and deemed ready for transportation, the segment undergoes a meticulous sealing procedure, ensuring its utmost integrity during transit. Protective bulkheads are securely fitted at both ends, serving as robust safeguards for the segment's structural integrity, a testament to the meticulous planning and execution involved in this engineering marvel. Pontoons are then attached, and the dry dock is then filled with water. It's then towed out to the deep end of the dock, where tugboats will tow it into position in the Femern Belt. Using a customized coating system and the use of underwater camera drones, the ballast tanks are then filled with water to slowly sink the segment onto the seabed. With extraordinary attention to detail, the entire process is meticulously executed with a remarkable precision of 15 millimeters along the entire length of the tunnel, ensuring the seamless alignment of each segment. Once in their designated positions, the segments are skillfully drawn together to create a harmonious whole. 
To achieve a watertight seal, the water present between the Gina gaskets is efficiently pumped out. As a consequence, the tremendous hydrostatic pressure comes into play, exerting an astounding force of over 10,000 tons, compressing the seal to guarantee its impenetrability. As an additional measure for fortified protection, an Omega seal is deftly fixed over the joint, providing an extra layer of assurance and reinforcing the structural integrity of the tunnel. This comprehensive approach to sealing guarantees the highest level of safety and longevity for this engineering marvel. These giant industrial rubber gaskets can twist and flex to absorb any seismic activity. Lastly, the tunnel will then be covered in a protective layer of stone. Over time, the sea will completely cover the tunnel with sand and nature will take over. The tunnel has been engineered to have a lifespan of around 120 years. Work on the 12 meter deep trench is currently underway. To dig the trench, Femern AS is using a fleet of dredges, including the Simpson, which is one of the world's largest backhoe, dredges. The bucket can excavate 34 cubic meters of material with each scoop. The dredging will produce around 19 million cubic meters of sand, soil, and stone to save on materials and environmental costs. The construction of this tunnel serves multifaceted purposes, each contributing to significant environmental and infrastructural benefits. One crucial aspect is the creation of an expansive 740-acre nature preserve and recreational areas in close proximity to the tunnel site. This ambitious endeavor aims to conserve and protect natural habitats, promoting biodiversity and providing recreational spaces for the community to enjoy. Additionally, the tunnel project plays a vital role in facilitating the construction of future bridges at the German site. The tunnel not only allows for better transportation connectivity, but also serves as a crucial ramp for the construction of these bridges, ensuring smooth and efficient access to and from the site. This infrastructure will be of immense importance for enhancing transportation networks and supporting economic development in the region. Uh, the remarkable size of the factory and the extensive tunnel project showcase the scale of this ambitious endeavor. By integrating environmental preservation, recreational spaces, and essential infrastructure, this project exemplifies a holistic approach towards sustainable development and growth. Germany is Sweden's second largest export market. And to get from Malmo in Sweden to Hamburg in Germany, it takes around seven hours on average by train, even longer. For freight trains from Copenhagen in Denmark to Hamburg, it takes roughly five and a half hours by train. But this new tunnel aims to reduce that travel time down to just two and a half hours by giving freight trains and travelers a 160 kilometer shortcut. This will massively reduce congestion throughout Denmark, reduce CO2 emissions and save people a lot of time. Sweden long saw a shortcut potential at the Femern Belt. So they said to Denmark, we'll help you build the Orin Bridge and Tunnel if you promise to investigate the potential of a fixed link across the Femern Belt. The inception of this remarkable tunnel project can be traced back to the year 2008 when the transport ministers of Denmark and Germany signed the state treaty, laying the foundation for its development. Subsequently, construction activities commenced in Denmark in 2020, followed by Germany in 2021. The ambitious timeline aims to bring this extraordinary feat to completion by the year 2029, an impressive demonstration of engineering and collaborative efforts. To support the financing of this monumental endeavor, approximately 10% of the required funds are being contributed through the European Union's Connecting Europe facility, UCEF scheme. This financial support reflects the project's significance in enhancing cross-border connectivity and infrastructure in the region. The majority of the funding, however, is being procured through loans from the Danish government. This strategic financing approach allows for steady progress in construction while ensuring that the financial burden is distributed efficiently. Importantly, these loans will be repaid by the tunnel users once the project is operational, ensuring a sustainable and self-sufficient financial model for the tunnel's maintenance and future development. Regarded by the European Commission as one of Europe's pivotal infrastructure undertakings, this project aims to establish a green transport corridor, effectively linking the Scandinavian peninsula to Central Europe. Providing a 160 kilometer shortcut, the initiative will benefit road and rail users alike. Upon the completion of the two portals and internal works within the tunnel, 
travel time from Denmark to Germany will be significantly reduced to just seven minutes by train or 10 minutes by car. If you enjoyed this video and believe it's worth sharing, please give it a thumbs up to help YouTube recommend it to a broader audience. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.